high that certain people can't even be around you because your energy is so strong. Vibrate so high that anybody that's wishing to do evil upon you, it shall be revealed. Vibrate so high that any evil entity feels uncomfortable in your presence. Vibrate so high. What up, world? We back at it like a crack at it. It's your boy, Cross Boss Cross, big CEO man across your heart. Man, breaking news is hit over the internet right now where Puff Daddy, yes, yeah, Sean Puffy Combs has been arrested in Manhattan. Uh, just a week ago, Sean Combs ended up moving back to New York because he knew the charges were coming up, but he didn't realize that they were going to do them the way they did them. So it is true. Puff Daddy has been arrested in Manhattan. Shout out to the New York Times. We're going to get into what they said. So let's get into what this New York Times got to say about Puffy. All right, Sean Combs arrested in Manhattan after grand jury indictment. Let's see. All right, so we're going to skip a little bit over this stuff. Y'all can check it out. Sean Combs, the music mogul whose career has been appended by blank assault lawsuits and federal investigation, was arrested in Manhattan on Monday evening. After a grand jury indicted him, according to a person familiar with the indictment, uh, but could not publicly speak about it. So, you know, Puffy got all this stuff going on. Let's see. Keep on going. We all know about philanthropist, U.S. Attorney, 54, K. Okay, Biggie. Okay, we know Cassie filed the lawsuit. And you guys can read this one. I'm going to get to the stuff. Okay. All right. We're going to stop a little bit here. In March, federal agents raided Mr. Combs' home in Los Angeles, Miami. Florida stopped him in a Miami airport um, and confiscated his electronic devices. The authorities made no announcements at the time, but a federal official said the inquiry was, in, was at least in part of human blank investigation. Federal prosecutors in New York had by that time interviewed a number of witnesses about blank misconduct allegations against Mr. Combs, according to the person familiar with the interview. Huh. He had vehemently denied the accusations in the civil suits, calling them sickening allegations from people looking for a quick payday. All right. um, but then they say that tone of defiance shifted after CNN published a hotel surveillance footage in May. And y'all remember that that footage where, you know, he was in that hotel and the way he did uh, Cassie. All right, so we'll keep on going. Um, it said he had, uh, he also created a, a raffish, larger than life media persona, throwing celebrity field parties and presiding over popular MTV reality competition shows. You know, he did make it in the band, okay. Um, okay, in 2000, a lot of people don't know, 2001, he was the subject of a highly publicized trial over a nightclub shooting where he was acquitted on the on the gun and bribery charges, which you already know that's going to be brought right back up again from that woman that's been out saying that she saw Puffy uh, Aim, aim, the, aim it at her when Shine was in the club. So let's see. That's Cassie. Everybody knows that. Top new persona. Love album. Last year, Miss Cone coming off a swirl positively. She filed a lawsuit detailing disturbing allegations. Applying included accusation of blank traffic and said that Mr. Combs had forced Ventura to have blank with male prostitutes in front of him and instructed her to use websites and escort service to find a prostitute to participate in the blank feud encounters he called freak offs. He said he decided to settle the lawsuit. Okay. Lawyer said the lawsuit accused him of participating in blank, blank in 2003 had single handedly irreparably damaged Mr. Cone's reputation on the basis of rank. Um, let's see. After man, I'm going to say that. Okay, Mr. Combs called a plaintiff a liar whose accusation were pure fiction meant to be 
garner headlines, all right? So we all know they said he sold his revolt and his shares, Deleon uh, Tequila Partnership. Um, this month, Mr. Combs Mansion in the Ritzy Harlem neighborhood of Los Angeles where federal agents carried out a raid in March with listing on real estate market. Wow. So he also had his house in New York on for sale for $61 million. Okay. All right, Kelly. Homeland Security investigation would often investigate blank traffic case led to inquiry into Mr. Combs. The Man Act. They were talking about Art Kelly and that. I was making sure. The March raids were announced to the world and telev television were not, television news footage of agents covering of, on Mr. Mr. Combs sprawling in Los Angeles mansion and carrying out electronics. The mother of one of his sons later shared footage of agents pointing blank at Justin Christian. Since the federal prosecutors have been silent, quietly delivering subpoenas to the potential witness as they build their case against Mr. Combs. Man, you in trouble, Diddy. Yep, so there y'all have it, man. So, right there in the news thing, so Diddy's been brought up on all these charges. Um... Also, it's, it's alleged that the whole connection with him, Tupac, and Biggie. So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. But there y'all have it, man. Puffy's been arrested for the charges, uh, federal charges there in Manhattan. And it's over for him.